Tires piled up in front of a home, old furniture in the front yard, more trash in the back. In fact, it's all over the lawn. It's the view a woman in Randolph County has had out of her windows for years. Despite the complaints and the efforts she and her neighbors have made to get it cleaned up, the trash keeps growing on a lot along High Ridge Street in Asheboro. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Fox 8 5 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Katie Nordine. Neighbors say they can't wait on the courts and they need help right now to get this health and safety hazard fixed for good. Fox 8's Madison Forsey is live outside of that home for us tonight. Madison homeowners tell you they are worried about what this is doing to their health. Yeah, that's because this home sits just a few feet from Meredith Murray's. You can see this lot behind me is completely covered with trash, litter, tires, even a boat and a grocery shopping cart. Code enforcement knows about the issue. They've issued multiple citations, but those citations have gone unpaid. This is my childhood home. I, I shouldn't have to uproot my, my four kids mm -hmm. just because of a situation can't be handled. Between the obvious mountains of tires and piles of trash outside Meredith Murray's back door, a bigger danger is hiding. There's needles everywhere. There's buckets of, you know, feces and urine, and it's just like, that's a health hazard. I know there's narcotic use. I'm sure there's been drop-offs. I mean, what, what else happens when you see 10 cars come in a day? for 10 seconds and then pull back out. Randolph County officials tell Fox 8 the owner of the property moved out years ago. Their children now live on the High Ridge Street property. The trailer burned down in 2018. Since then, Murray says she sees the people who live here going in and out of this shed in the backyard. She's called 911 at least 10 times this year for late night arguments and fighting that wakes up her kids. I had stepped off my deck and a grown man came out there in nothing but a t-shirt, no pants, no underwear, and it's like, okay, what if my 11-year-old daughter came out and seen that? Code enforcement officers have fined the owners three times. Each citation is $500. The county has not received payment and the property has not been cleared. Murray says this lot is a danger and something needs to be done now. I feel like if, as long as the buildings and everything's still standing, they're going to keep coming. I reached out to the Randolph County Sheriff's Office and a spokesperson tells me they are still putting together more information about all the calls that they've taken about the situation behind me. I also reached out to the county attorney who is planning to take the occupants and the owner of the property to civil court about a timeline for that legal action, but I haven't heard back yet. In Asheboro, Madison Forsey, Fox 8 News.